hello all in this video we will see uh, two things basically first is uh, how to assign a value to a mapping variable and the second second is uh, value which we have assigned to a mapping variable who can we pass that uh, value of one mapping variable to another mapping variable in a separate session so uh, to check out this we will see one typical example we have a source uh, suppose we have uh, n number of records in that so our requirement is to divide those uh, n number of records into half first half will go to one target and second half will go to another target so what we will do basically over here is we will uh, divide this task in two separate session first session we will find, we'll find out the total number of rows in that particular source with that uh, row count will store in one mapping variable that mapping variable will uh, that mapping variable value will pass to another uh, mapping variable another mapping variable in separate session and using that value actually we will divide the records into half so let's start with the mapping creation first we will create a mapping to find out the record count find out the record count and so in the second mapping we will use that record count value to actually divide the records count number of records definitely will require an aggregator transformation we will take any target After aggregator, we will keep one expression. And we will also require one filter transformation. Filter transformation value properties will be always false. We so in first mapping we will not load anything at target level we will just get the count and assign the count to mapping variable so we will require to create one mapping variable along with it Right. 
डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू विल रीड एज ही basically the this count value you have to assign to the mapping variable which we have created just now so we will add one more for assign value we will treat that as a variable for and there are actually three functions we cannot directly assign a value to a mapping variable uh, just using an assignment operator like uh, let's say we use like this equal to total country count then, then this will not work uh, this will not uh, assign the value the total count or country count value to the mapping variable which we have created to assign a value to a mapping variable actually informatica has given by de by default informatica has given some functions so these are the three functions set max variable so set mean variable and set variable max and mean will uh, help uh, in cases where uh, there are more than one values exist but in our case we only have one one uh, count so we'll use set variable function so it, it will accept basically two parameters one will be the variable and uh, second one will be the actual value so the actual value is we have done with first part of our workflow the second part is we just have to read value of this total row count and according to accordingly we have to divide that uh, divide the number of rows in two half and uh, one half will go to one target second half will go to second target so we create another mapping saying in underscore divide record so this will have again countries we will pass this to router targets first is in down is in row two over here also we will create mapping variable generator transformation just to identify each record uniquely
router level we will have two groups first half second half we divide the record based on the total record count so if next val is less than equal to total record count will be stored in mapping variable divide by 2 and second half will be exactly opposite of this so it will have greater than We have done with the mapping creation, we will save the mapping, we will validate it. Mapping is in valid status, we will create two separate sessions for each, each of the mapping. Second mapping name is divide record. We will create one more session task. We will link all these three tasks. Now the mapping variable which we have created in mapping 1 this value we have to pass it to mapping variable 2 which is in another session. So to pass this value from one session to another session we will require to have a workflow variable. Now at end of the first session we will assign see, post session successful command post session on post, post session on success, uh, success variable assignment so over here we will assign mapping variable value to workflow variable which we have created so this will assign the record count of record count in the mapping variable to the workflow variable and at the begin of beginning of the second session so pre-session variable assignment what we will do is we will assign value of workflow variable to the mapping variable in the second map have done with the workflow creation also before running the map we will truncate the target table so in case if there are any old records exist that will get truncated Again. 
First session is running. First session will not load any record at target table as we have added filter in between. This property is false. So it will just count number of records and assign that value to a mapping variable. Second session will actually divide records in two halves. So if you can see, first session read 27 records hasn't inserted any record at target level you see again in the second session 27 records got read at source level and those 27 records got divided into two half first half 14 got inserted into first target and second half 13 got inserted into second target we'll check the session logs again If you see, if you see over here, variable this 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 will be assigned from this mapping variable name this persisted value 27. That means at first session log, we can see variable one map one mapping variable is as ha is having value as a 27. That is total number of records at country table. We'll again check the workflow log. So if you see over here variable this is workflow variable value overridden to return value from the variable assignment in a session this. So this is the first session so it actually depicts that workflow variable will get overridden by this session's assignment session's variable assignment. Actually, see the actual assignment value. See over here. Now, workflow variable will have actually the value as a 27. Use override value 27 for user-defined workflow variable. This will check the actual record counts at DB level. There are 27 records. So there are 14 records. Two will have 13 records. So this is how we have divided source records in two half using mapping variables. Thanks for watching video.